last category award of this evening is sustainability and green economy for outstanding international success in the provision of green economy technology or capability such as environmental solutions, clean energy, sustainable materials, renewables, waste and water management, green building, smart cities or business committed to sustainable business practices. This award is presented by a silver sponsor, Qantas Freights Regional Manager for Australasia Sales and Customer Service, Tom Redman. Now, Qantas Freight has been supporting the awards program for 14 years. As Tom comes to the stage, let's meet this year's sustainability and green economy finalists. Uh, a couple of thank yous first. Firstly, to Table 13. It's been a great group over there. It's been a heavy freight and logistics conversation tonight, but it's been uh, one to enjoy. The second is to Austrade for hosting a great event tonight. This has been really quite spectacular. And third is to the exporters that make up this room. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. So congratulations to all. From my side, I'm absolutely delighted uh, to be here to present the Sustainability and Green Economy Award on behalf of Qantas Freight. Qantas Freight knows that what matters isn't just what we move, it's how we move it. Whether it's in the air or on the ground, Qantas Freight is committed to reducing our environmental impact at every step. It's a wickedly devious uh, industry to decarbonize, but sustainability is a key pillar of our decision making, and we are dedicated towards working towards uh, our key targets across our terminals and operations. By creating one of Australia's largest carbon offsetting programs, minimizing waste and single-use plastics, investing in more sustainable aircraft and aviation fuel at home and abroad, we're working towards a brighter, greener fu future of aviation. And with that, I'm pleased to announce that the winner of the Sustainability and Green Economy Award is Noja Power. Well, it's been, a, it's been a wonderful evening. We're very proud to re receive the second last award, penultimate award for the evening. So we're a very proud Australian manufacturer. Uh, the last time we were on stage here was in 2009, I think, where we won the Prime Minister's Exporter of the Year and the Large Manufacturer Exporter of the Year. Uh, so very proud to be back. And I think we're a testament to determination of manufacturing in Australia. Today we export to 106 countries around the world and our products are considered leading edge technology. We're considered the best manufacturer of medium voltage auto reclosing circuit breakers in the world today. It's very interesting though, if we were as successful as we are in Australia, we have 100% market share here, but it represents less than 8% of our revenue. And we have every contract, we, we do everything associated with medium voltage switchgear here in this country. So it's indicative of manufacturing in this country. You, you can only be successful, in my opinion, if you address a global market. If you look for scale and, and you, you, you not only globally sell your products, you globally source components and really participate in the global village today. And I think the Honourable Minister indicated before about trade agreements and about putting putting agreements in place around the world, it's absolutely critical. The more free trade agreements we've got in the world, the more successful we will be, and the more manufacturing we will do in this country. I know there's a current mandate to really drive manufacturing, and we're certainly capable of doing that. We've got the, res the resources, let's turn them into finished goods and sell them to the world. So I'd certainly like to acknowledge a few people. Firstly, Austrade, over the years, done a wonderful job for us. Uh, whatever we ask is, is, is not too much for them to do. Trade and Investment Queensland and the team at the back there, uh, great support over the years. Thank you very much to Trade and Investment Queensland. Qantas Freight and Qantas. And I'm always asked, and I'm not sure what question you're going to ask me, but a lot of people say, how do you export? Well, I say if you can get in your vehicle and drive down the road and sell your car, you can also get in a Qantas aircraft fly anywhere in the world and do the same thing. So I think anyone can be successful in Australia. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge our team. 
mar marvelous team that we have uh, uh, around the world, and particularly at our factory in Brisbane. We also have manufacturing in Brazil, in South Africa, and in Mexico, but all wholly owned, coming from our factory here in Australia. So very proud of the team that we have around the world. Also like to acknowledge Elliston Capital uh, and uh, State Super, who are two of our shareholders that are joining us here tonight, so thank you very much to them. Uh, and finally, congratulations to everyone in the room. You can certainly all be proud of yourself whether you're going home with the ward or not. Uh, it's a wonderful achievement just to get here, so thank you very much. All right, question I'm going to ask is scale. What's the first step in getting scale into your export business? Well, when you look back, what was a critical step that set you on that route? Uh, I think, well, first and foremost, I have this wonderful picture of a frog choking a, a duck as, as, it's, as, it's, as it's being swallowed. Okay. And there's a message underneath it that says, never give up. I don't wow. know whether you've seen that or not. <laughs> but, but I think, and I, I often send that to our business development people or our managers around the world when we've got a problem. Right. And, and I think it's really the key. You have to never give up. You have to homologate your products in countries. You need to get approvals. You need to do different testing and certificates. And, and I think if you want to be a really successful exporter, you just never give up. You yeah. never take no for an answer. And eventually the scale will come. Yeah. I don't think you can necessarily just instantly say, I want scale. You, you just have to never give up and chip away and market after market, work out how to do business in that market. A lot of heads nodding out there. Congratulations. Thank you very much.